Coach, as we head towards uh, Thanksgiving break, I uh, just want to give you an opportunity to talk about kind of where your team is right now in phase three, what, what it, what's involved in that, and, 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 uh, and what the future holds moving forward. Yeah, this phase we're in right now is, uh, can be challenging. You know, you're training. There's not necessarily a scrimmage or a game in sight. Uh, been, been really proud. I think the men have responded uh, to leadership. You know, that's the coaching staff has done a great job with these individual workouts in the eight-hour week. Uh, but most importantly, our, our captains, you know, the growth um, we voted at the end of phase two uh, and they've really taken the bull by the horns in terms of just making it clear what expectations are. And, and the men have been very responsive. So I think the, the four captains we've had, uh, their development over the last three or four weeks has been uh, been fantastic. And we couldn't be happier about where we are you know, going into Thanksgiving break. Then yesterday was a big day, National Signing Day. You signed a top five rated class. You had eight players who are ranked uh, in the top 100. Um, so just talk about that class, how excited you are, and what ultimately they're going to bring to your program. Well, we, you know, we have the saying around here, you win with people. And, you know, I think for us, yesterday was a very exciting day for a number of reasons. You highlighted some of the, the accolades, but I think more importantly is uh, great young men, great families, a unique class with the way the recruiting has gone. This is a group that in some cases uh, have been committed to us three, even four years. Uh, so to, to have that signing day yesterday, really a celebration, um, we couldn't be happier. These are, these, are, these are young men and families that committed to us prior to a Final Four, prior to a new facility. Um, so you feel really good about who they are, why they're coming here to be Buckeyes. Um, the staff has done an outstanding job. Coach Ross really kind of quarterbacking that initiative uh, with Coach Crane alongside. They did an outstanding job from beginning to end with this group and deserve a lot of the credit for, for getting the men through uh, signing day yesterday. And it's exciting. You know, I think, again, we, we really now are, are focused on who we are today um, and where we're moving forward with this team. Uh, but to have a group uh, like we have, you know, make that final commitment of signing is such a special day for them and also us. It was certainly a big deal, and, and we're looking forward to the future with those young men for sure. Uh, and then finally, um, we just uh, opened a new facility right next to us here, the Shoemaker Complex. Um, that's going to have a big impact on your program. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, as I said, you know, that's a facility that's really come to fruition in the last couple of years. I mean, it's a, it's a close to a $50 million project. You know, the, the amenities are endless. You know, I, it's just, bottom line is it's going to be second to none in terms of facilities in the country. And for us as a team to now, you know, have a class sign, to go into our next recruiting class with a facility like that, to be able to use these amenities to really develop our players, you know, both on and off the field. Um, it's spectacular. You know, we couldn't be more thankful uh, for the donors, for the department, for the people that have made it possible. It's humbling, you know, when you look around and you walk into a facility that, that is built the way this one is. Um, it's just a reminder how special it is to be a Buckeye and, and the future is very bright.